Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my shed. Ah, not raining, not cold. Lovely day for working in the shed. I need to make some space. Well, you, you, you know that. So, you know, I picked up this welder, stick welder that's thrown away. And I picked up that 30 year old microwave. So I want to have a look in that. I think I need, uh, I think I need to retire these gloves. I think. So, try and make it a quick one. Tattle the microwave first. I ain't doing a full microwave switch strip. What this is about is there's a lot of information you can find off YouTube that says working on microwaves is extremely dangerous. Yes, it's. I, high voltage you know you wouldn't like to play around with it while it's uh, switched on and also about the magnetron insulators can were made out of beryllium oxide and it's a pretty fatal disease if you get beryllium poisoning around about 2004 if I'm right they stop using beryllium oxide in uh, magnetron insulators so you've really no worries after that it's uh, aluminium oxide interestingly enough aluminium oxide can be pink can be white so you can't go off the color of the insulator beryllium sounds like a, a berry doesn't it I've no idea what color it is you think beryllium berry pink reddish don't know what I do suspect is that if this 30 year old microwave has got beryllium oxide in it there ought to be warning stickers all over it I don't know come on let's have a look and then we'll have a look at this stick set right you see it's a Panasonic it's only got two dials why the old guy liked it he said uh, it was simple I've thrown it around a bit so bit back. right to make it quicker I've already taken the screws out go on. right I'm supposed to warn everybody aren't I I'm supposed to say high voltage you know, you can die in here. But they all say about the, the capacitor down there. Oh, I always short it out. What they don't realise, a lot of people don't, is that there is a drain resistor on it. So even if you don't short it, it's very likely to have been drained off anyway. But screwdriver across, both terminals, nothing. Not even a flash. Looking inside the street away, I can't see any warning signs. Ah, can't see it here. I don't know if it's too faint for you. The date D242 93. 24th of February 1993. Seven years makes it 2000. 19 years now. No. 26 years. The guy was uh, exaggerating a little bit. So, hey, as usual, if you see a screw, whip it out. Right. Better later date. I'll take the synchronous motor off. But at the moment, it's kingdom style. 
not Gangnam Style, Scrap Kingdom Style. Ooh. So, this in a second. That's a that's a weighty transformer and certainly because it's so old that is going to be all copper. So that goes to one side. We'll get that. Got a bit of scrap out of it. This is what we want to see, isn't it? Right, well, clearly it's pink. Does that mean it's beryllium? I don't know. Could be. But there ain't no load of warning stickers all over it. Which is kind of why I was taking it apart in the first place. I ain't going to strip all these for you because... You've seen me strip microwaves before, and there's hundreds of them on YouTube. I'll whip the magnets out. Got a thing for magnets. Want to move on to the stick welder. Space is money to me. What I mean is, space is valuable. Right, okay, to save a little bit of time, I've already unscrewed and taken the wheels off. watched my last video I said I wasn't going to switch it straight on because the wiring looked a little bit ropey in places so what I'm gonna do go on a go on and make your eyes so bright for if I snip about that That can go in there. Right. I've always got a lead with a chocolate block on the end. So I'm just going to connect that up. Off camera. Uh, let's switch it on and see what happens. Chocolate block connection. Uh, that out of the way. We're going to, we're, we're on an RCD circuit. I don't know. We'll, we'll plug it in. See what happens. I don't know. That's off. I think. Right, we're live. We're not live here. Right, we're live, we're live, you can hear it humming. Here we go. We've got no light, well, no light, but it's humming. Connected that to a piece of uh, old iron. Uh, be a little bit careful. Uh, I'll stick a rod in. Right, do we work? Whoa, a bit further back and I would say there's nothing wrong with that. Go and get my lid piece of steel to weld. Remember when I stripped the starter motor, I cut that casing. I thought, well, go on, I'll weld it back together. Get a little bit of a clean up because I ain't the bestest of welders. 
If it ain't clean, I can't do it. Uh, get that off there. Got my lid. It works. I brought myself home some work. Nordica 2160. Quick look on uh, the old Google. As I suspected, 160, 160 amps. Which, I've got a stick welder, but it's only a 90 amp. So it really doesn't do much. Can't run the rods that I'd like to. So yeah, this is going to be a welcome addition. I can finally learn to stick weld, Guido. Uh, another project, restoration project. One of many. Ah well. Okay, that's it folks. I'm going to do some playing about in here. Catch you in the next video, whatever that may be. Probably alternator. See you soon.